They are everywhere. I mean, everywhere you look in the tank, there are babies. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video, and um, we got a few things to talk about today. So, uh, yeah, get ready. First things first, so today's video is about the saltwater tank. I did get a new piece of coral for it, and I actually just got home a few minutes ago, and the lights were starting to get kind of dim because it is on a timer, uh, so the corals, they were starting to kind of close up. I just brightened the light back up for video purposes. Uh, but the hammer corals, they're doing great. Like I said, they were starting to kind of close up. So were the candy canes. By the way, it looks like that. That side right there was kind of on its side, so that's why it's you know fully closed up and the other half of the coral isn't. That's because the hawkfish, he gets up there and uh, knocks it over all the time. But those are the two corals that we have in this tank, and I've been wanting to add a few more corals to this tank, you know, really fill out the rocks because, let's be real here, we have a lot of space on these rocks on this side and this side for coral. So I really want to start filling out the rocks a lot more than you know how we have it right now. But but before I show you guys what coral I got for the tank today, uh, I need to tell you guys something. So basically, here about a month or so ago, my bigger clownfish, the naked mocha clown, he was starting to get a little bit more aggressive. And here within the past few days, he started to get a lot more aggressive and just a lot more nippy towards the smaller clownfish, the mocha storm. And I was thinking about taking the naked mocha out because like I said, he was starting to get really aggressive towards the mocha storm and I come out here every morning to turn on the lights to all the other tanks and not this tank because this one like I said is on a timer so it cuts on by itself and I came out here one morning a few days ago and everything was fine in the tank but unfortunately later on that day when I got home randomly out of nowhere the little mocha storm is dead so that really really sucks and you know I really regret not taking the naked mocha out to you know prevent this from happening uh, but it happened you know pretty fast like I was saying you know within just a few days he started to get really really aggressive towards him so it happens, you know, it's just kind of what happens when you keep fish. Now, if you guys remember here a few months ago, back when I had that little wipeout in the tank when it killed all the fish, I had a little bitty snowstorm clownfish. And today at the store, we actually had two really, really nice snowstorm clownfish, bigger than the one that I had before. And uh, they look really, really good. They were very active. So I think what my plan is, is I'm actually gonna end up getting rid of this naked mocha clown and then just go ahead and get both of those snowstorms. And those are gonna be our two clownfish that we have in this tank. That little guy is a really, really cool clownfish and all but what makes me think that he's not just going to kill another clownfish that I put in here and now with him being in here by himself and him being the only clownfish in here that just is going to make him even more aggressive so I think the best option is just to get rid of that guy and then just get two other clownfish for the tank now that we got all that out of the way the coral that I got for this tank today were actually a few little zoanthids now of course they're all closed up right now and there's the hawkfish being curious of everything that I put in the tank as always but believe me if they didn't look really really good I would not have gotten them so hawkfish is still in the show look at that just ruined in the shot but I'm gonna let those guys acclimate for a few minutes and then we're gonna find a spot for them in the tank I'm thinking somewhere over here maybe over here it's just all about finding the right spot for them so the hexagon tank so basically this is like my community tank and I just have you know a bunch of different types of tetras and the two electric blue jack Dempsey's in here and we have all these middle to top of the water column swimming fish but we have no bottom feeders in here I mean this is a 30 gallon tank and we need some type of bottom cleaner in here so I have Cory cats Otis Sinkless Chinese algae or plecos all that kind of stuff but the one bottom cleaner that I don't have is actually some type of loach so I want to put some type of loach in here I'm thinking zebra loaches if you guys agree with me let me know or if you guys have a different loach of mine that would be good for this tank then let me know but I just thought zebra loaches because you know they're a really cool looking loach they don't get very big and I was just thinking about getting maybe two of them in here so that way we'd have some type of you know bottom cleaner in here our Florida guard is doing great along with our Jack Dempsey and this guy's actually started to become a lot more used to me here within the past few days and check this out he will follow my hand now look at that that's pretty cool right there guppies and antlers are doing great as well I'm giving these guys a few flakes right now give some to the front right here and also some to the back because I notice a lot of the you know really newborn guppies like to hang out towards the back back here so it's really important to make sure all these little bitty fish in here get food and as all those flakes start to sink down you'll notice all these babies just coming out of like nowhere so you look at them they are everywhere I mean everywhere you look in the tank there are babies and also next video we're setting up the second guppy tank that's gonna be right there I'm gonna try to make this uh, more of a inler tank than anything and then this down here is gonna be like our fancy guppy tank that's also what this eco completes for alright so it's now been about 30 minutes gonna go and get the zoanthids out of the bag and find a spot for them in the tank alright so we got the little plug right here and I'm gonna try to see if I can find a little spot somewhere right there for them to sit 
that right there should be good so hopefully they'll stay right there hopefully the hawk fish doesn't get up there and move them around like he does with the candy canes but that right there should be a decent little spot for them so they're pretty closed up right now so i'm gonna let these lights shut back off and uh, give you guys an update on them in the morning Well, dudes, it is now the next day, and I kind of let the zoanthids kind of open up out through the day, so that way you guys could get a really good look at them. Uh, but most all, I'd say probably about 80% of the polyps all opened up, and uh, it is looking really, really nice. So basically, the way these things kind of grow is they really spread across everything, and that's what, really what I'm hoping for, is that they'll spread all across that plug, and then eventually spread onto the rocks. And uh, it'll look really, really nice once they start to do that. Of course... That will take a very, very long time for them to get, you know, all over that plug and onto the rocks. But for now, they are looking really, really good. You can see that green and the kind of darkish red in them. That is some really, really nice coral, and it's going to look even better once these things start to spread. But I'm only going to be adding more coral from here. Like I said, I really want to start adding more and more coral into the tank. You know, not a whole bunch at once, nothing like that, but just one piece, kind of how I deal with that, you know, here and there, every two weeks, every three weeks, that kind of thing. And hopefully we can eventually get that tank looking really, really nice with a bunch of coral in there. Pretty short video today, but like I said, we're going to be setting up the second guppy tank in the next video, so we're only going to have more and more guppy babies from here on out. And then here within a few weeks or so, we're going to set up the outside guppy pond so we got a lot of guppy stuff to come so be ready hit that subscribe button tap the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any new uploads that i post and with that being said you guys i'll catch you guys in the next video peace